the salmon. Uh, salt, pepper. We need a uh, olive oil or red wine vinegar. But these asparagus, these came from Pfeiffer's, are grown here locally. So what you want to do is take a couple of these asparagus, and you hold it behind the head, and then wherever it breaks, that's where it's woody. That's the part we don't want to eat. So after you do a couple of them, because they're all about the same diameter, you can line them up. this and then trim across. So putting a little bit of oil on the salmon helps the spices start to dissolve and helps it to melt down into the flesh of the salmon a little bit. Don't worry so much about the sides, just get the top of the salmon really good, nice thick layer. There you go. Nice safety move. I like that. And then you're just going to cut it straight down the side. Yep. Perfect. Just a little. Nice, nice. Just a little like that. About the balance. Does it need oil? Does it need vinegar? Does it need sugar? Does it need orange? Does it need okay, salt or pepper? Okay. Going from opaque, from the, that opaque color to a more solid, that's the actual, that's the, the fish actually cooking. And when it gets up about halfway up that side, we're going to pop it right on in the oven. It, uh, it's prepping me for the career that I want in uh, the outside world past high school. So for me, having these advantages now will help me later down the line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just so Going. Hot, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Point two. Here, putting the relish on top of the salmon like this because the flavors of the relish it enhances the salmon flavor and it also makes it look nice at the same time because you know we, we eat with our senses so. It just makes it look pretty. Here, putting the asparagus on like this because it looks, one, it looks a lot prettier like this, and two, it kind of helps with the flavor with the asparagus and the salmon, so it extracts more flavor. This, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Get your blue on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Come, Come on, on. you got to miss out. It's good. <laughs> Wait, I got another one. <laughs> Hunter, you are not being executed. Aww. You do not need to look so grim. Why? <laughs> you get to like try new things and like meet new people and you get to go different places. It's like really fun. Like it gives you an insight on what you know like the business is really about. It's like really exciting. Um, Chef Zen is actually a really good teacher. She gets down on the personal level with you. Um, if a student needs if a student needs help, she's always there to help you. If she needs help. She always has students that she can rely on. Other than that, she's just an all-around great teacher who should be Teacher of the Year. In this class, the advantages are, one, you get to eat your, what you're doing, which is your homework. And it's just an overall good class if you want to cook, if you want to be in this profession. People always are like, oh, you're in home ec class, or you're, no, we're not, we're in culinary arts class. It's the same thing. It's not the same thing. You learn how to cook, how to, like, when you go off into the real world, world you need to cook and you need to eat so that's this is like industry level yeah. cooking like you don't find this in home ec. this is culinary yes arts.